Hello guys and welcome back to my Copenhagen Diaries. I hope you are all doing well. So I'm getting ready and I kind of wanted to show you guys my makeup because yesterday I did a new makeup routine and it turned out so nicely. I used very minimal makeup and I was really impressed. So I recently started using like tanning drops in my moisturizer. So you can see that my face is a little bit tanner than usual. So the tanning drops are from Woods Copenhagen and they're called Sun Drops. And then I mixed it in with like a moisturizer from the same brand. And I actually quite like it. It is pretty natural. It is maybe a little bit too orangey now, but it's because I've put it on like two days in a row. So maybe it's like has some buildup. I don't know. And then this morning I washed my face and I did a bit of gua sha with like an oil. So my skin is like pretty soft now. And then for my foundation, or I'm actually not sure if this is a foundation. It's called The Minimalist and it's a perfecting complexion stick and it's from Merit. And this brand is all about less is more, which I really love. They don't have like a big variety of makeup products. They make it like super simple for you. So this is actually their only foundation and concealer product, which is kind of cool. I have to admit I was not sold in the beginning when I used this because I'm always using the same foundation and the same concealer and I just stick to those. But I'm not sure if I was using it the correct way. I kind of just like put it all over my face using it like a foundation stick. But I actually think this is more a perfecter that you just put under your eyes on some imperfections, something that you want to cover and then you kind of either blend it with your finger or you can use a brush. So I just put a little bit under my eyes and a little bit on some problem areas. <laughs> I have a pimple like on my lip. You might know that I used to struggle with acne back when I was like 16, 17 and I went on Accutane to fix that and thankfully it did and since then I like barely get any pimples or any acne which I'm so grateful for because it used to be a difficult time for me back when I had acne but I recently went off my hormonal birth control you guys might be like, what? But yeah, I kind of just wanted to try it out. I just, I've been on birth control ever since Helgi and I started dating. Since there are some side effects to taking hormonal birth control, I kind of just wanted to see if anything would change with my body, if I would stop it for some time. I get migraines like here and there and you know, I just wanted to see like, is it because of the birth control or is it because of something else? I've seen some videos about, I think it's called natural cycles and it's basically where you track your own like menstrual cycle. So you know when you are fertile and when you are, what is it called? Ah, ovulation. Basically, it's where you keep track of everything that's going on in your JJ. <laughs> But then I have also been considering if I should go on the copper spiral. I've met with my doctor and I can go on it if I want to. And yeah, I just haven't really decided. And that one is non-hormonal. I don't really know how it works actually. But guys, please don't be worried for me. I'm very careful. I'm not trying to get pregnant. I just wanted to try this out, maybe in a couple of weeks, couple of months, I will go back on the same birth control or I will try the copper spiral. Maybe I'll give you an update later. We'll see what happens. So the reason why I brought up this topic was because all of a sudden I got like a pimple here and here, but it's like gone now. And I've been dealing with like small breakouts. I know it's nothing but it's just strange because I usually never get any breakouts. Okay, enough of this babbling. Moving on to the next step, I am going to put a little bit of bronzer and this one is also from Merit. By the way, this is not sponsored. I actually just really love their products. So instead of putting it straight on my face, I'm just gonna use a brush and I'm just gonna dab it lightly. I'm not gonna put too much, just to get some warmth to my face. 
For my blush, I'm also gonna use one from Merit. And you guys know that I usually use one from Rare Beauty, but that one is a little bit more pigmented and a little bit more like full coverage. And since I'm going for like a little bit more natural look, I love this one. It's in the color Aprius. Aprius? And first, when I saw it, I was like, no, this is not my color. But when I tried it on, it is so pretty. It's like this berry color. So I just put it like in the apples of my cheek and bring it a little bit up. And then I kind of just like to use my fingers. So, what do you guys think? And now I'm just gonna do my eyebrows quickly. And by the way, guys, we are going to have breakfast at a cafe we haven't tried out. It's called Sidecar and it is located in Nürbro. I love using Fix Plus. I feel like it just like makes your makeup a little bit more dewy instead of being like dry. Just like gives it a little bit of a oomph. And I'm debating if I should wear mascara or not. Usually I never wear mascara like when I'm just working from home But since I'm vlogging today, I feel like maybe it's a bit nicer And last but not least I'm going to put on some lip gloss And now I am ready Wouldn't you say that it is a little bit more natural or what? Maybe not. For my outfit, I was thinking about wearing my new red sweater. When I picked it out, I was just like, well, I'm just gonna have some fun with some color. I usually never wear red. I don't know why. And because it has this v-neck, I'm gonna wear like a white tank top underneath. And by the way, I was thinking about just putting all of the links of the items that I'm wearing and maybe also the makeup or just some things that I mentioned in the video if I will just put it in the description box because I usually get so many questions so I'm gonna try my best to put some links in the description box to make it easier for you guys I'm already like, is this my color? I'm not sure For my pants, I'm going to wear these jeans that are i don't really know what the color is it's kind of blue kind of black kind of washed i feel like it goes well with this sweater this is what they look like and i'm going to put on my favorite bracelet it is a bit tricky to get it on your hand Ta-da! i just think it's so pretty and these earrings are also so cute. I'm also gonna put on a belt for some more details. And for my coat, I'm going to wear this oversized one. Last but not least, I'm going to wear this color jade bag. And now I am ready. <laughs> It's getting so cold in Copenhagen, I'm like freezing. I have gloves, but it's just because I'm recording, so. <laughs> but we just bought new dining table chairs off of Facebook Marketplace. They are so pretty. I'm really excited to show you guys. The lady just texted us that we can come and pick them up. And since we are so excited, I think we're just gonna go right away <laughs> in the metro and go and pick them up. We're off to the metro. Managed 
to get the dining table chairs home and we are very excited to switch these chairs up they are so pretty and i really love them but we don't really feel like they fit with this dining table so yeah we wanted to try these ones out it's time to see how they look in our apartment You can see that Matilda is already liking the chairs, I think. <laughs> Matilda really loves when we are cleaning. I don't know why <laughs> she enjoys it. But she never helps. No. <laughs> love how the dining table chairs turned out they are so cool and i love like the black and chrome vibe i feel like it kind of breaks up the theme in this area because it was getting a little bit beige and i was a little bit scared because i want it to be like hip and cool <laughs> but guys i actually have something quite exciting that i've been waiting to unbox with you guys so we bought a new coffee machine and i'm so happy the one that we already had was decent and we got it from facebook marketplace very cheap but it wasn't like the best and since we are working from home and i love getting like really really good cup of coffee so we decided to buy the sage bambino plus coffee machine i'm gonna show you guys Say hello to our new family member. <laughs> so we decided to buy the Bambino version instead of the Barista Express one that is super popular. You've probably seen it all over social media, but because we own a pretty decent coffee grinder, this one doesn't have a coffee grinder in it like the other one. But I actually saw a TikTok video from like a coffee expert and he was telling some facts why this coffee machine is a good choice compared to the other one. So I can link it down below if you guys wanna see it, if you are in a coffee machine need. Uh, but yeah, we are really happy that we have finally bought a coffee machine. I am so excited. Let's unbox this bad boy. my god guys i am so obsessed it's even prettier than online and in the store i think it's because of the dining table chairs and it just looks so pretty oh my god you've probably already guessed that i am so excited to make coffee in the new coffee machine so i'm gonna make the coffee area ready i'm gonna clean a little bit i'm gonna clean the coffee grinder and this is our old coffee machine, so I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna make sure that this coffee machine gets a new good home. to make the cup of coffee we have cleaned the coffee machine so now it's ready to use and by the way this is the best angle that i could have because our kitchen is like long and it's not a lot of space for a camera so we're gonna do it like this okay here we have the coffee grounds or i'm not sure what you call these but it smells so good it comes with a tamper 
And then it came with this razor thing that you're supposed to use so you know how much coffee grounds are supposed to go in the porter filter. Oh, I actually should put a little bit more. Okay, moment of truth. I think we're gonna try out like the automatic milk foamer because why not? And I'm also a bit scared to do it myself. I'm just gonna put it here. Okay. Okay guys, I'm actually really impressed because the milk is super fluffy, like super fluffy. First cup of coffee is ready and we're gonna try it out. Mm. Okay, yum. It's literally like coffee shop level coffee. I think I put a little bit too much milk, but mm. oh my god. This is really good. Yummy! Mm. This coffee is amazing and it's so hot our previous coffees never used to be this hot and that's really nice we are kind of interrupting Matilda's nap it's that time of the day when she takes her daily naps she usually comes into our bedroom and just lays on our bed and enjoys her three-hour nap <laughs> so she's a bit annoyed <laughs> I'm sorry. We just got back from the supermarket. We bought a couple of things that we needed because tonight we are gonna make a recipe called chicken piccata. We actually got inspired by the TV show The Bear because mm -hmm. The main character was making it, or his sister was making it in the show. Yeah, and it just looked so good. Mm -hmm. And we've tried it once since then. And oh my god, guys, it is so simple, but it's just so tasty. So you only need a couple of ingredients, like chicken breasts. And then the secret ingredient is capers. It is so good. And some shallot, garlic lemons and for the side dish you can either do like mashed potatoes or rice or tagliatelle like we're gonna do and yeah just some seasoning and butter really really good yeah so Helge's on the chicken because yeah i don't know i don't want to do it <laughs> i will link the recipe that we're following down in the description box if you want to make it yourself you need to put the chicken in some flour with salt, pepper, and garlic. Even though we mentioned that we watched The Bear, I wouldn't really recommend that show. It has like really good ratings, but we've watched I think like five episodes, but I don't really like it to be honest. It's very like hectic and I don't know, there's nothing going on in the series, I feel like. Maybe we haven't given it the chance, but I highly recommend watching The Fall of the House of Usher. It's like a Netflix series and it's kind of like horror, thriller, scary, I don't know, but I felt like it, it was really good. And also another show that we watched, we watched a German show called Dear Child. And that one is really good as well. Highly recommend that one. If you're into mystery, like psychological thriller, it's gonna keep you awake at night. <laughs> Just kidding. I really like that Helge and I like cook together in the kitchen. I know a lot of people who have divided chores at home. You know, some people do only like cleaning and some other people only do cooking. And that's totally fine, but like, 
I am quite happy that we do it together because I think it's fun. Like we're singing or chatting. I do the singing. <laughs> I, actually, I need to tell you guys because yesterday I was singing so much to a Danish artist called Hans Philip. I've been listening to his music for like the last couple of months and he is so incredible. And yesterday I just realized that on Spotify you can actually read the lyrics and that was so cool. He writes in Danish and you guys know that I'm like I don't really speak Danish so much here. So yesterday I had like a singing party and <laughs> I was just like it was so much fun. I was having a blast and I hope Helgi really enjoyed my performance. <laughs> yes. I think I will be doing that more often because you actually get quite good practice from singing in Danish because they also sing in like some slangs and it's basically like the language that is used today. It's not very like formal. I had a blast. I'm gonna do it again when I'm maybe home alone. <laughs> no. So you don't need to listen to my singing. <laughs> but yeah, the chicken is already on the pan and you saw that Helgi put it in flour with some seasoning and now it's cooking in lots of butter. It's time for the capers. And then we need to squeeze in some lemon juice. turned out amazing you guys need to try out this recipe it was so good yeah i just changed into some comfortable clothes and we are gonna have a movie night we bought some ben and jerry's <laughs> our favorite also matilda's favorite oh my god she goes <laughs> crazy when we have like ben and jerry's <laughs> sometimes like she just gets like a little bit of lick of the cookie dough one. I know that cats can't have sugar either, but you know, she just really wants to have a little bit of taste. We haven't decided what movie we're gonna watch. It's either gonna be How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, or you saw like a Danish movie with Mats Mikkelsen. Mm -hmm. It's called Riders of Justice, and it's like a Dark comedy. Comedy? Yeah. Oh. So, the guy. Okay. <laughs> okay, but we like saw the trailer. He saw TikTok to begin with. Mm -hmm. And then we watched the trailer and it looked pretty good. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's also nice because then we practice our Danish. Mm -hmm. What are we in the mood for? Yeah, I don't know. No. That's gonna be a surprise. <laughs> but we are so happy how both the dining table chairs and of course, our new coffee machine is just so amazing. We're so, so happy. And I'm excited to make more coffee in future videos. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it for now. You guys will just see us hanging around, having a movie night. <laughs> but we'll see you in our next video.